today we're going to be actually talking about, and well, looking at some freaking awesome games. Uh, we're looking at Baldo gameplay. I don't know what the hell Baldo gameplay is, but two other ones we're going to be looking at is Daisy and Death Stranding. Apparently the trailers were released, gameplay trailers or something. Uh, for the most part, I know a lot of these games. Uh, I know, I've heard of Death Stranding, of course, obviously, as well as uh, DayZ. But DayZ is kind of a weird situation because I'm not certain if that trailer is going to be like a the Battle Royale one that they have. Or like everyone fighting each other or if there's going to be actual zombies. Because that's what DayZ is before it became uh, a whole zombie thing. But we're going to be looking at Baldo right here. And just uh, making suggestions about games that you guys might be interested in. These are new ones that came out. I don't think people have covered them yet. But yeah, let's take a look. Let's see what it has to offer. Ah, the look it kind of reminds me of... Uh, like the anime style of uh, like Nino Kuni. Looks pretty cool. Whoa, what the... So, action adventure game, puzzles. What the hell? That looks pretty cool. Uh, I wonder if this is like open world or. Wow, this looks re actually really good. I was ki I'm kind of surprised <laughs> just at the fact that this looks really good. Cause I thought this was for sure probably like an indie type game. Uh, well, whoa, didn't it? I guess didn't really expect it to be this, this good. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering if it's, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It seems like it's gonna be like open areas. What? Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, it's like a turtle shell thing. Whoa, what? That looks crazy. Uh, this actually looks pretty damn interesting, if you don't mind me saying so. Uh, I'm, this is definitely a game you guys want to check out. It, it honestly look, does look really good. It looks like a really entertaining game. It has like a, a lot, like I said, a lot of puzzles, a lot of intricate stuff. I love the werewolves. The creatures in here look pretty cool. Um, like different areas, different maps. I think everything just everything seems I don't know just I, don't know, I, I seem to like it it's kind of very genuine um, but yeah I think that that's something that's very awesome and you know what uh, I wasn't sure if I was gonna bring this up but there is actually this other game that I kind of want to show you guys uh, I saw already saw it saw it already uh, Moonlighter because apparently is uh, they're gonna be coming for those of you who don't know this game is like a RPG dungeon crawler type deal where basically it doesn't look like this just so you know this is just like part of the new trailer talking about like oh hey sometimes these games come out and it's like these indie titles that are really good and people just love and it's honestly eh, it's pretty true uh, but yeah let me let me get to the actual thing so Moonlighter is basically a game where you go dungeon crawling, you kill creatures, animals, fight content updates during the first year. Yeah, they do that. Uh, so basically what you do is that you, you take the materials or the stuff that you find and you pretty much uh, you add it to your shop, I believe. You, and you sell the stuff. You sell all these rare things and people buy them and it creates this huge profit thing for you. I think that's amazing. Uh, I think it's it's very cool. And honestly, it's on sale right now. Like if you guys don't know, this is this game is actually on sale. It's uh, for ten bucks. Uh, and and I, I really like it. I, I I mean it looks really good. I've seen a couple pe people play it. Uh, Praetorian hijinks. Um, you guys don't know them. Very good. Uh, uh, people, YouTubers, uh, it's freaking awesome. The, the game really does look uh, really amazing. 
But yeah, the premise of it is that you go, like, kind of dungeon crawling, but it's, like, randomly procedurally generated or so. So you have, like, these different experiences in these different uh, dungeons that you travel to, so you'll get a variety of enemies. It is really good. Uh, I think of the games that I would want to get, I think uh, this one, this game, and along with uh, the Sword of Ditto. Like, I, like, I've talked about them, but I, I just have not bought them, and I think it's, I think I, like, messed up and just not purchasing them, but I think I am gonna, I'm gonna go with it, you know, I have mean, eh, much money or whatever, but yeah, this looks like really fun games, and I think a, a lot of these developers deserve that price, uh, so like I said, it's 10 bucks right now, as I'm speaking, uh, which is, uh, May 29th, but... Obviously, it's the price will go down uh, uh, June 6th, I believe so. So, if you're trying to decide, oh, should I get this game? Do I want to get this game? I say go for it. And, you know, it's like 10 bucks, And in a way, it's kind of like still kind of kid-friendly. So, if you want to get it for, you know, one of your sons or kids or whatever, you can get it, but yeah, it's this is obviously one player. If you want a two-player game, Swords of Ditto is definitely one that you can get. Uh, it's I think they, they might do a split-screen thing, like towards the end or like as you separate. Uh, but for the most part, you you guys are all on the same same page. Uh, it's like couch co-op, basically it. So yeah, definitely recommend it if you guys uh, are looking for a game to play. It's definitely a lot of fun. Very artistic, as you can see. All right, so next we're moving on to Daisy. Uh, what I'm trying to figure out is, well, if this is going to be uh, just like another battle royale, or is it going to be, or is it different? Because I know like there were so many iterations. H1Z1 was originally supposed to be like a Daisy type game where it was too like it was weird. It was supposed to be like a zombie type game, survival with all these different aspects. And then it just kind of like, I don't know, they just got rid of that feature. It was supposed to come out like launch day or something like that. It was one of, you know, the launch windows. Uh, but it just didn't. But yeah, let's look at DayZ. It didn't, I didn't think this game would come out. Uh, really? Oh, this is how the game looks. So I guess the permadeath ensures that when you pick the bucket, you lose everything and respawn back along the coast. A bullet to the head isn't the only danger of DayZ, as the game has a complex set of survival mechanics. Ignore your hunger or thirst long enough, and you'll be on your way to an early grave. Hmm. But take note, consume something of questionable sterility, and you may fall sick. Oh, that's a pretty cool feature. Sharing a leaf is big, but finding your way doesn't have to be a shot in the I'm, I'm trying to see if there's going to be... The zombies, where are the zombies at? Even the stars navigate your way about 230 square kilometers of vast and varied landscapes. The rule is, if you can find a town, you can find a loot. Build up areas will have more scavengers, hmm. but they will also have more infected. Stay quiet, stay safe. Oh, okay, so. If you have no choice but to fight, melee combat can offer protection, but you don't need to rely on your fists. Any item can be used as improvised weapons. Some more effective than others. <laughs> oh, is that a can? You will eventually die. So, wrap it up. That's pretty cool. The dynamic weather of Daisy is prepared for the worst at any moment. So sometimes it's best to stay put and prepare for your travels until the bad weather passes. With the fall of civilization, there is no more light pollution, and nights in Canada get dark. Use various light sources to properly orient it. Or to strategically mark locations. When interacting with other players, 
JV's in-game voice chat objective system lets you easily communicate your friendly intentions. And in JV, communication goes a long way. Guns and ammo are there, and JV's authentic mechanics mean you'll have to load your weapons manually, one bullet at a time. That's pretty crazy. Oh, that's usually good features. Is that a bear? Pretty damn cool. So it's out now, but honestly, when I tried looking it up, uh, the game wasn't necessarily out. <laughs> In all honesty, I'm like, I couldn't find it on the PlayStation Store. Uh, let's see, does it have it here? Let's check it out. Let's see if it's actually in the PlayStation Store. It says right here. Because I tried looking for it, and I could not find it. Oh, okay, it is out. Required for online multiplayer. It's 50 bucks. Uh, Daisy is an unforgiving authentic open world sandbox online game. Where each one of 60 players for a server. Okay. Looks pretty cool. Actions on the hidden meeting with another friendly survivor in the scene. Online features require an account or so it's terms. So it's network. Two to six players. Full game requires play. I think that's uh it is only online. Cause there's no mention of single player, so it doesn't seem that you could play this by yourself. Online play required. That's right there. So if you want to play this online, you definitely need it. Uh, it's interesting. It's only a small file size. That's that's pretty cool. It's only 8.7 gigs. But yeah, I mean, you have PlayStation Plus and you want to play this with other people or just play by, by yourself with other people on the servers. I say go for it, you know. Obviously, if you have a PC, you can play on there. Uh, just whatever, you know, floats your boat. But yeah, uh, looks, looks pretty cool. I think I'd, I don't know if I'd... Play it. I mean, don't got PlayStation Plus or the money to purchase that game. But hey, you know, hey, everybody, to each their own. Uh, but yeah, that was DayZ. If you guys are interested in a zombie type game, open world survival, all these different features, which is pretty damn awesome. Uh, I say go for it, you know. Uh, you're definitely going to enjoy it. Uh, well, there's, cause there's not that many games like that on... On the PS4, there is an uh, like open world RPG type game outward that I've talked about on here before. Uh, it has diff a lot of different features, kind of some survival aspects to it. But yeah, uh, but yeah, DZ looks like a fun game. H1Z1 should definitely come out with theirs first. Don't know why they didn't do it, honestly. But hey, we'll see what happens. All right, so let's get to it and let's watch this. Let's watch Death Stranding. Heard people saying that they still didn't know what it was, even though they watched the gameplay trailer. But let's see what it is. I heard someone talk about it's like about War and Peace or something. But who knows? Jesus, 
Oh, you're gonna be able to have motorcycles? Nice. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm thinking your your bike's probably gonna get like broken or something. You have to fix it. <laughs> Music, really? Oh, that's cool gameplay. Pause <laughs> different weather. So you gotta run to different places, time. Knives. So you're gonna have equipment knives. Stuff like that. Oh, so, oh wow! Well, this is like definitely like an exploration... Exploration game. But exploration game done well. A mask under a mask. Who would have thunk it? Whoa. They got powers? Oh, you get... Oh, you can get spotted. Oh, that's... Oh, shit. That looks pretty crazy. Oh, it's gonna. Also, it's gonna, there's gonna be like melee combat, so you're trying not to get captured too. Oh shit! This is pretty cool. Oh, they can drop your equipment. Oh, that's wow. That okay. I don't. Uh, I thought. Oh, you can, oh, so you can use their equipment to fight them back. Oh, you can, okay. This is pretty damn cool. So that's why, because the babies are kind of connected to the. Connected to the other world. Okay. Oh shit, okay. So are you dying? Well, no, 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 because they said they. I think they take you to their world or something? Or. Bound to Hades to the underworld. Oh sh! Wait.
Damn. Well, that's pretty fucking cool. Number eight, twenty nineteen. Wow. So, what is this running? Well, from this point on, I am going to tell you exactly what the hell this stranding is. This stranding is an open world action adventure exploration game with an incredible story to tell. Uh, it seems that the core of the matter is that this event, ha an event has transpired which has caused the United States and probably other countries to kind of like go to war with these beings. However, from the looks of it, it looks as though they failed. And whenever these creatures or beings come, it seems that they take you kind of to the underworld or where these things are kind of reoccurring. It seems like they're creatures of violence or that are attracted, seem to be attracted to violence. Uh, in a way. Uh, obviously, you're collecting, you're collecting things to probably sell to other individuals or to build things, possibly build things. I'm not sure if they have things to be able to construct. But obviously there is a purpose for everything. The fact that things can fall off of your off of your backpack. There's like a scanner that can detect where you're at. Uh, but this is honestly very something very interesting. What this what also is interesting about this is exactly I think that you're going to be able to travel to all these different spots that you see on the map. And that something we have yet to see are going to be cities. Uh, we, we've seen these little, these little things here, these like buildings. But we have yet to see actual cities. And I think that's what we're going to kind of encounter 
as you progress through the game you're going to encounter these different city locations because uh, obviously they kind of hint at it here uh, not this one sorry um, where the woman is like being attacked but uh, this this is definitely like I said they're at war And I think it's something that they're going to have to kind of deal with. And I think these engineered babies. Because it, there's there's this whole thing of Legends of Goats and Spirits that kind of you're in between like, I guess, life and death where you can, they can see death. So in a way, I think that's what it basically is. And Hades, in a way, it's like kind of like purgatory, where it's like you're t you're technically dead, but you're not really. You're you're in torment and, and, and kind of reliving what you've done in certain instances, or maybe sometimes even forgetting. I think that's what it is. I think it's uh, the war. It's just everything that has occurred, like the planet or whatever, where they drag you. Uh, Which is a very interesting uh, take. And I think, like, the big bad guy, even though you kind of see him in a way as a good guy, he's to this other world. He managed to kind of probably make a deal or something with these beings. Or they're trying to use them for their own gain. But yeah, uh, I don't know. That's, that's what I think. That's what I think it is. It could also be like another thing of like nature and stuff like that taking its course. This scene is obviously really amazing. Like it seems like kind of like fallen soldiers, and I think I don't know. It feels as though the fire or whatever is just oh it looks cool, but I feel as though it does something else. It seems like maybe it's kind of like teleporting them or taking them somewhere else. I think it's it's gonna be an interesting experience uh, to see exactly just everything that transpires. Uh, uh, but yeah, I'm kind of I'm really looking forward to this. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, obviously, like I said, I think the main focus of this well, what this game is is uh, basically just you know, uh, is action adventure, action adventure, exploration, uh, type game, uh, yeah, I, I think that's, like, at the core, if, like, oh, what type of gameplay do you expect from it, I think that's something that, uh, you can definitely expect from it, that, that like, what's gonna be happening. It also shows uh, some of the gameplay, like, you can be able to have motorcycles. Uh, however, I think that those vehicles probably the wear and tear over time, or you'll probably have to repair them. As well as they'll have, probably have trading posts for you uh, to trade with other people to get equipment, to get bullets, to get ammo, stuff like that. Or you could go to these other locations. But one, one important thing is that they said is that you're not really going to die in the game, in a way. Or when you die, this is where you're actually going to go. Which is Hades, or as a reference, Hades. So it's kind of like Underworld, right? Where like everyone is just reliving this hor horrific scene. Uh, just like everyone just kind of killing each other. Uh, yeah. So I think that's what it's about. And thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure uh, to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos. Uh, you know, and it's coming out. It's coming out, uh, November 8th. So, again, I will see you guys another exciting episode of Reaction TV. For more videos, uh, right there, you know.
down there. Subscribe, visit Patreon, all that good stuff. Take care.